Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to our show, the Crypto Diggers Africa Show, where women dig crypto. Let me start with a disclaimer. The information and materials in this show are not to be considered as financial advice. The cryptocurrency market is highly volatile. So when you want to get involved, carefully take consideration on whether cryptocurrency is right for you, considering your own circumstances and your financial resources. My name is Tibet Lomachema and I am the host of this Crypto Diggers Africa show. Welcome to all of you that are joining us on Zoom and also joining us on Facebook Live. As a person who has been involved for a while in the cryptocurrency and cryptography space, it was in conversations with family, friends and colleagues that I realized that there is a lot happening in the crypto space and that most people, especially women, uh, and more specifically women in Africa, are not exposed or unsure about the space or have no knowledge of the world of crypto. Women in Africa continue to be left behind as it relates to financial literacy and freedom. In the world of crypto, this is even more so as most have not been exposed to the concept and its benefits. As the African proverb says, you educate a woman, you educate the community. It is therefore through this that it became critical to improve the knowledge about uh, crypto for women in Africa. Through these shows, women in Africa will learn most about crypto and blockchain and how these platforms can help them improve their financial freedom. By the way, we're not only focusing on women, we also want our men to learn so that they can go back and share with their wives, with their mothers, their sisters, their daughters and nieces, and you know, even with their sons as well. Through these shows, we also want to help them improve on their, on their financial freedom as women. Learn about the technologies behind the system. Learn how they can use the opportunity of decentralized finance to bypass the financial policies and processes that continue to exclude women in Africa. So what is our aim with this show? Our aim is to provide and improve knowledge and understanding about the world of crypto, its impact and possibilities for women in Africa. As our slogan says, women dig crypto. Thank you for joining us in this show today. And we welcome your comments and questions during the course of the show. If you are joining us on, uh, Zoom, you are welcome to type your questions and comments um, in the chat box. If you are joining us also through Facebook Live, you're also welcome to type in the comments and questions there. We will attempt to get to them during the course of the show. If we are not able to do so in the show, we will definitely respond to you after the show. Today, I am proud to welcome our guest for the show, Evie Ivodia an HR professional and a lady, yes, a lady who has become involved in the world of crypto. Welcome, Evie, and thank you for taking this time to join us on the show today. Thank you so much, Tibello. Thank you for having me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everybody. Wonderful. So, Ivodia, Tell us a little bit about yourself. Who is Ivodia? Who is this wonderful lady that we're engaging with today? <laughs> okay. Um, as you have heard, my name is Ivodia. I am based in KZN, Durban, KwaZulu-Natal. I am originally from Johannesburg. I am industri an industrial psychologist by profession. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a skills development facilitator, qualified one. Um, I'm also a property, uh, sorry, a property property investor. I'm a business owner. I'm crypto entrepreneur. 
and a digital entrepreneur. Those are the, 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 the experiences that I have qualified as, as an industrial psychologist and um, also have my own business in, in the HR space, which I have opened in 2014 and still running it to date. Um, a, I have also invested in property. I have my own properties and um, um, which, which are obviously rented out and the ones that I own. Um, that I am that the one that I'm living in at the moment yeah wow. um, yeah that, that's, that's that's me um I have I have two kids my yes. daughter is 14 and my son is 16. Wow Ibudia that's amazing that's amazing I didn't know that you were a qualified industrial psychologist now I know something yes. about you. <laughs> yes, well, I am. Well. And I'm sure you also didn't know that I'm a, I'm a qualified skills development facilitator because I know that you're also coming from the training and development space. Oh, lovely. That's wonderful to know. So for those of you that are on the call and are looking for a skills development facilitator or somebody that can help you in the industrial psychology space, now you know the lady. Right. So now that we've heard about, you know, who you are, and, and it's, I'm also glad to hear that, you know, you uh, to hear about your children as well. So tell us, Ivodia, with all of this work and your own company as well that you're running, when did you start getting involved in crypto and why? I started getting involved in crypto in 2017. And when I when I actually started, um, obviously I, I thought it was one of those scams. Nobody told me about, about it. I went and made my own research about cryptocurrency. And obviously, um, because it, it, it was something new in my ears, it was something I had everybody talk about. People were talking about cryptocurrency. Some of them were talking about trading. Some of them were talking about mining this cryptocurrency. And I wanted to know more, but I didn't know who to start. So I thought, you know, maybe the best thing is just to do a research on my own. But even so, when I was doing a research, it wasn't as easy as I thought it is. You know, I wanted somebody who is experienced in, in cryptocurrency, who can sit with me and explain to me, because in my, in my head, I already thought this is, this is, this is, this is probably a scam. Or, um, you know, I started having skepticism, even though I don't like to, 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 I didn't like to be skeptical when I knew that I needed information, but I was skeptical in that there, I, I didn't have an understanding. Um, I wasn't skeptical in that I was scared to come in. It's, okay. it's, it, I was skeptical in that I, I needed somebody to, 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 I didn't want to do it myself. I needed somebody to explain to me rather than me going into Google or into one of those um, websites that are talking about cryptocurrency, because there's many of them that are talking different things. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought, you know, social media is, is actually a better place maybe to learn about these things and that was in 2017 when um, I was actually sitting there and I was on social media one of my friends who, who at that time was not involved in cryptocurrency she's actually a pastor's wife she posted something on that day which I thought you know what better her than me because I didn't know how I was going to put it on Facebook um, because people know me as, as a branded HR professional every time I speak I speak human resources. Every time I speak, I speak people development. You know, I speak um, skills development. I speak um, Devon Chambers of Commerce. I speak everything to do with human resources. You know, um, the meetings that I attend, I speak, you know, I had branded myself with my company and also with, with my passion in human resources. So me coming from that space and wanting to come in and speak about cryptocurrency, which I didn't know about in social media, I thought, no, I'm I'm not, I'm not even going to, um, to, to do that, um, mainly because I don't know how, if I were to be asked questions, how am I going to answer the questions? Because I'm neither a, a trader or an investor in cryptocurrency. But luckily on that day, one of my friends, the one that I've just mentioned, she posted on Facebook and I thought, oh, okay, this is actually what I, um, I was supposed to do because she was a non-trader and a non-crypto investor. She posed a question, um, crypto or trading? And it was almost like, you know, everybody was waiting 
for the comments. And I was also one of the people that were waiting for the comments because I was going to learn from the comments. And I thought, okay, this is a good opportunity for me to learn. I will definitely find somebody who has knowledge here um, in, in everything that in, in you know, when, when, as they answer questions. And there was this particular person who even today, um, I remember it was actually last year or early this year when I, when I said in, in Facebook, I'm looking for the person who has introduced me into cryptocurrency. To date, I don't know the name of that person. I don't know where this person lives. I just want to reach out to that person and say thank you. Wow. I went to, and, and as, 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 the, as the questions were coming and recommendations and people saying, no, it's a scam. Um, there was just this particular person who was at that time a Forex trader. And um, he was he was responding to each and every comment to to say the difference between trading and mining. And I read from the from the comments and I thought this is actually the person I can learn from. And then I inboxed him. So you see, this is where my knowledge came from social media. This is when um, I then inboxed him privately and I said, um, I don't know your name, but I see that you, you look knowledgeable. Please, can you tell me the difference between mining cryptocurrency and trading cryptocurrency, the risks and, and so forth. And then he said to me, the only thing I can tell you is that um, had, I, had I known about mining cryptocurrency, I probably wouldn't have wasted my money in, 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 in trading with the people that I didn't know of. Right. Because, you know, you can go into social media and you find people that are trading and then you join them. And then at the end of the day, when you try to withdraw the funds, because we come into this space wanting to make money online. And when you try to make make use of the funds to withdraw so that you can show people that it, it works mm -hmm. and then you, the website is nowhere to be found. So what he said to me was, um, what I can tell you is go and mine cryptocurrency that's where you should start and once your once your knowledge has has become broad in mining cryptocurrency go and trade it um and but in trading it make sure that you trade it with 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 the person that you can trust because this is also business and it it it, it has to do it has everything to do with trust Okay, but um, above all everything that he had explained, the risks and the advantages and disadvantages of mining and trading, I have learned that, you know, uh, maybe the best thing here is, is just to buy cryptocurrency because it's safer. Bitcoin at that time, um, Bitcoin was 42,000 rent. In rent at that time, it was 42,000 rent. And as I, as I have learned from him, he had mentioned that crypto, uh, Bitcoin had started in, in 2009. And at that time it was only two, it was only um, 140 per coin. So I said, okay, that means if I were to start investing in, in, in Bitcoin now, mm -hmm. remember I was talking about investing in Bitcoin and not in, and not mining or trading at that time, but just right. investing. Yes. So I thought, you know, one, now that he has mentioned Bitcoin, I see that Bitcoin is 42,000 rand per coin to buy. But at that time, I didn't want to risk with, with so much money when I was still new in cryptocurrency, even though um, I didn't, I, I, I didn't, I wasn't skeptical. Um, mm. I bought fractions because I, I already had learned that if you cannot buy a big coin, then buy fractions. Mm -hmm. And then at that time, that's when I invested in Bitcoin. That was in 2017. I invested invested in Bitcoin, I bought, um, I bought um, fractions of the coin. And as the coin grew, obviously my, the profit from, from, from what I, I, I bought, from, from, the, from the fractions I bought started growing. And I've also realized that, oh, okay, within the Bitcoin space, there's also smaller cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, Ripple. There's actually many of them. I have learned from there that um, there's actually over, over 3,000 of them. And then I started buying crypto, you know, um, fractions of each and every one of them. Some of them were even, you know, affordable for me to, to, to buy a full one. So yes. that's, that, that was my, 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 the beginning of my journey, investing in cryptocurrency, I mean, investing in Bitcoin um, fractions, and also um, investing in, 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 the, in, the, in the smaller altcoins or rather wow. alternative coins. Yeah. Um, and then in 2018, that's when I started mining. Perhaps wow. you can take it. <laughs> that's amazing you know just interesting that somebody posts something and 
um, you know, as they say, when the time is right, the information will find you, or when you are ready for the information, it will come through. And to be able to find somebody that then responds, I hope one day this person manages to come back and say, hey, I'm the one that, you know, responded to you, and I'm glad yeah. to hear that you have grown, you've grown so much. And uh, so you you found out about all these different coins, and, and even today, I think we've seen that there are still lots of coins that are still very affordable, you know, for people mm. to be able uh, uh, to, to learn more. So once you had um, found the information, how else have you gone to learn more about crypto? Okay, after the information was, um, was gathered, now that I have an information and knowledge about cryptocurrency, I went ahead and, and, and did mining. But also even, even, even with mining, I needed somebody to explain to me, how do you do mining? How long is it gonna take? And then I, got, I also got introduced into, into a mining space. Obviously at that time, um, you would have to mine with a certain company. <coughs> excuse me, you would have to mine with a certain company that owns mining companies. Um, and then that's when I, I started mining. I, I started mining with a mining company and then I started getting my, my, uh, my, my profits on a daily basis. So with, with the mining, how mining works is that you, buy, you would buy a mining package and then, um, you know, then, then you start getting your, your mining earnings on a daily basis, but this is a contractual, on a contractual basis. Mm -hmm. So now I have, I have the mining packages, which I am mining for three years. And then after three years, it's my decision whether I still want to continue or repurchase um, and, and, and um, or, or repurchase. Yeah. So um, now at the moment, I mean, in 2018, that's when I started doing um, the mining part okay. of, of the Bitcoin. Okay. And the number of coins, I mean, earlier you spoke about buying coins. Can you remember how many different types of coins you had bought when you started? I know there's Bitcoin, there's Ethereum. How many others did you buy? <laughs> okay. At that time when I was still new, I bought, um, I bought Ethereum. I bought um, a Ripple. Um, I bought... Um, uh, there was there was neo coin as well at that time, okay. but but it was very small. But even though it was small, I bought it though because I had already learned that buy buy smaller ones because they are going to to they they have a greater future. And it's actually last year when I saw when I saw neo coin going up. You know, and then I remember I also bought um, I bought Zcash as well. So those are the coins that I had bought at that time. So as time went, like last year and the year before, we saw more 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 alternative coins coming in, especially on 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 altcoin trader, which is an exchange that I use normally. So I bought Ripple, I bought Ethereum, I bought the Neo coin, and I bought Zcash. Wow, that's interesting. And I think what, what, what I'm loving about what you're saying is that when people go out and they buy these coins, this is not a uh, get quick rich scheme, right? You Correct. buy the coins and you leave them. I mean, 2018, yes. 2017, when you started, mm -hmm. and only two, three years after that, you start seeing yes. the value, you know? Tell Absolutely. us more about that. Okay. And also, oh yes, um, and you would you would remember that because this because technology is advancing as technology mm -hmm. advances, mm -hmm. so is um, the the, uh, the the crypto the, the cryptocurrency as well the old the old coins, um, ADA also it's 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 not a very it's not a very um, old coin, mm -hmm. but I, I bought it last year. And there were also others that, that, that came in and then I also um, invested in, in, in them. You know, it's not, it's not an investment. You buy them and then you hold them. Mm -hmm. um, you buy them at, 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 at any price, any price that you, that you get. If they are affordable, obviously you can buy, you can buy one or more. Um, and then over time, then, then you know, they, they grow, they, they give you a profit. Okay, wonderful. So you also then mentioned that um, as of 2018, you got more involved in uh, the mining side of the business. Uh, please explain for somebody that's new here that says, what is this mining? Is she going underground? She doesn't look like somebody that's going underground. Explain how, <laughs> what is mining in the crypto space? 
Okay, um, we definitely don't go underground. Mining here, you, you, you would buy a mining package or a mining machine. And also this mining machine, it's not a, it's not a, um, uh, a physical machine that you would buy at a certain place and then you keep it inside the house. You can do that if you, if you don't have a problem with electricity, but if you do that, um, then that means you would have to have enough money to ensure um, your your mining machine and make sure that you are you you are not disadvantaged in any way with um, um, with load shedding. I mean, we know with, mm. with 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 our South African problem with with ESCOM, um, you make you have to make sure that your machine keeps running um, and also uh, you know electricity costs as well. So it's costly to do that by yourself. Even though yes, you can, um, but it's quite costly to do that by yourself. So what do we mine here? Um, we mine um, um, we mine a Bitcoin. We, um, I also mine Bitcoin Vault. I also mine electric cash. And these are also um, um, cryptocurrencies. As I said, there's many of them. Um, mm -hmm. You choose to either um, you know, buy and hold others and then others you can buy and mine. So these, are, these three that I have mentioned, I mine them. How do I do that? I buy a mining package um, at a price and then um, it, it starts mining and generating Bitcoins for me on a daily basis for the period of three years. And these are the, 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 the profits that are also withdrawable. You withdraw them as and when you need. Um, and um, as, as, as the question poses, you know, how, how do you mine? There's a company that actually does the mining for us. Um, the, the, the company owns the mining farms and obviously the company is not in South Africa. Why? Because um, they needed a, a you know a better better environment in, in in terms of temperature to run those those machines and then those machines keep running each and every day um, ten minutes every 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 ten minutes of the day to generate you um, the profits and with the profits that you are getting you can either reinvest or you know they they you just leave them to grow or just just leave on them like other people who would come on board and buy bigger packages or bigger mining machines and then because they are not working they will, they, they should know that they nothing will stop them from withdrawing their funds and they are also able to leave what i like about about mining is that um, it's the money that is coming in for you. It's not the money that is coming out. Unlike you um, going into the bank and taking your money and investing it into the bank, the bank obviously will tell you how much returns you are going to get. But these returns, you are not getting them on a daily basis because the bank has to run their, their, their own transactions on a daily basis. And those transactions are at their own interests and not at the interest of, of you as an investor. So you would only get, get what the bank is giving you according to your the, the capital or the investment that you have put in, um, which I find um, uh, very difficult for for, for a person who um, who has invested in, in at the bank and um, I think there's an I think it's called an, in, an annuity fund or something mm -hmm. um, you know that would tell you that you can only withdraw after after 65 years so so you see you 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 have if you are investing in the bank you have um, you, you you have limits you are limited because mm -hmm. the bank only thinks about their their interest you as an investor, you can only get that which the bank can, can give you, even though, yes, you do get, but it's quite small. Um, so that's that's why we, we love cryptocurrency, especially mm -hmm. in the mining side, is because what, what you are putting in, you are also getting back. So the money that you are putting in, it actually works for you. For a person who has been retrenched, if there's somebody out there who's been retrenched or retired, and, you know, um, these are the people that have worked for for companies for many many years, and um, once they invest in cryptocurrency, it's 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 a it's a good relief that they can still pay them themselves um, an income. Um, because you know a person who has worked for many years and 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 retires or gets retrenched, um, this person is already used to a pay slip. You know this yeah. person is already used to getting a, a, an income on a monthly basis. 
So um, imagine if this person invests in the bank and only probably gets 16 rand a month or 20 rand a month or even yeah. 50 rand a month, you are not going to leave. But what I like about cryptocurrency, especially in the mining side, is that what you put in, it's actually working for you because there's no third party, remember? There mm -hmm. is no third party. So whatever ba the bank is doing for you, you are doing it yourself. So you become your own banker at any age. Let me mention that it, that you do that at any age it doesn't matter how 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 old you are and wh whether whether you um you you can walk or you cannot because there's also people who i have to mention that there's there's also people who um medically bothered and these yeah. are also people who have worked hey and mm -hmm. these are also people that would want to see an income and it's unfortunate that they cannot work because because of their disability for not working or their unfitness for for, mm -hmm. for, for being in corporate or for working you know again but when you put your money on a man mining site it's it's such a it's such a relief that you can actually see this right. money coming in there's nothing as good as seeing money coming in because then you know that you have an income to live wow. and and uh, to keep you going okay i love that i love what you've shared um Evie, in terms of whether you are a a fully abled or you know uh, somebody that might be restricted because of health or because a particular uh, physical you know, ability that limits you in terms of being able to work full time. This is also a process that you can get involved in. Obviously, as Ivodia said from the beginning, you can do this for yourself. You don't need somebody else to come and promise you that you know, they can do this for you. And you know, in some instances, people find uh, themselves getting, getting scammed. So if you have joined us, um, you know, on Facebook or you've joined us on Zoom, welcome. Today we are talking to Evodia. Evodia is an HR professional, a, uh, a property developer, a business owner, and somebody who is also a crypto enthusiast who has been involved in crypto, you know, since around 2017 and has, start, has seen, you know, the benefits of being involved in crypto. And what she has indicated that she loves a lot about this crypto space is the fact that she is in control of all the monies you know, that she is using any activity that takes place uh, on the various platforms that she is on. She is in full control of that process. Ivodio, when you were talking about mining, you also mentioned two other coins. People know about Bitcoin, right? And they hear about Bitcoin. But you mentioned uh, two other coins, uh, Bitcoin Vault and Electric Cash. Can you tell us a little bit more about those coins? Okay. All right. Um, Bitcoin Vault is 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 also one of the cryptocurrencies. Um, it was launched by the company called Mining City. Uh, you are muted, Devodia. Yes. Sorry. I to decline a call. In 20, 2019, the 16th of December, that's when Bitcoin Vault had started. And um, when it started, it was it was only one one bit one Bitcoin vault at that time was one dollar, which was like 18 rand. And you know, people started being skeptical and they, 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 they thought, how can something start so um so so small? Mm -hmm. Um you know, what if this is a fly by night? How do you buy cryptocurrency for 18 rand? You know, uh, people made a mock out of it, you know, um, but but it, it kept growing, it kept growing, it kept growing. And at that time, I was already part of the of, of, of a of, of a miner who was mining um, Bitcoin vault and how it went up, it was amazing. As I say, it only started in 20 in 2019, December. Um, but uh, by, by, by June 2020, it had already created many millionaires, many millionaires. And I'm proud to mention also that I was also one of the millionaires that, that were oh. born out of this currency, you know, mm -hmm. um, only in a short space of time, in probably just five months of the 
of, of, of the existence of BTCV or Bitcoin Vault. I had already made millions, you know, I already bought myself a car, I already bought myself a house. And these are the, the assets that, that, these are the assets of my choice. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I didn't have to actually, you know, think, um, well, I can limit myself because I can only buy this, I can only buy the middle class or I can buy a small car. I bought the things that I needed at that time and with, with, with no limit at all. I bought a car of choice, the house of choice, you know, at a wow. place of choice. This is the, 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 the freedom that BTCV or Bitcoin Vault had given to people who took part in it. Uh, when, when it started. As I said, it started in 2019. And like anything else that starts when, when it's new, um, people are scared. People want to want to step back. Um, uh, people want to see what's happening. You know, they start to waste time. Some of them would say, no, I'm still researching, you know, but, but you forget that by the time you are, you are still researching, people are actually moving on. They're moving on. By the time you wake up, and you want to be involved in in this coin called Bitcoin Vault, um, then you 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 know it's 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 gone. Not that it's gone in that it's cancelled or it's finished or it's an it's a it's a finished pro project. But because it 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 already has um, given people lots of money and lots of opportunity. Uh, to, to, to come on board, to, to, to take advantage of, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I took advantage of this coin when, when it was still very fresh. And um, also the people, I know that I'm not the only one, also the people that came on ca came in on board, the first, the first five months, the first six months, the first seven months, the first eight months, mm -hmm. they made lots of money. Lives were changed through this coin. And remember, it's, it, it was still, it was new. And it's still new now. And mm -hmm. if you were to go and research on Bitcoin Vault, um, you don't have to check the, the, the negative reviews about it. Look at the positive reviews and see where it started. Because just like each and every currency, um, I'm, I'm saying this because I, I know that it had dropped in it and it's been down for quite a while. Mm -hmm. But this, for a person who is like me and has an understanding of cryptocurrency, I don't, I don't, I don't get worried because I know that it will pick up. Nobody knows when, um, but I know that it will pick up. Look where, where, where Bitcoin, Bitcoin was, the mother, the mother cryptocurrency, the mother coin where, where, where it was. It was once 300,000 300, in rent, mm -hmm. and it dropped to 42,000 rent. And then I remember at some point it was even lower than that. And then everybody would, would know that at, um, last year sometime it was even over 700,000. It was over 800,000 um, per coin. Do you see? So what Bitcoin Vault is doing at the moment is actually doing exactly what is required mm. or expected of the cryptocurrency. It's not a failed project or it's not a failed coin. It is a coin just like all the other coins. So for anybody out there who has invested or, 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 or bought into a Bitcoin vault when Evodia came on board or mm. after Evodia uh, or, or after, let's say, after, after the eight months yes. when, 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 when Bitcoin vault had, had dropped. Do, do not don't 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 panic don't panic this is cryptocurrency mm. and at some point it will it will pick up um there will never be a moment where you will hear um bitcoin vault being a failed project or a failed coin i don't think there's any coin there under bitcoin which is verified under blockchain that is going to go down the drain. This yeah. is cryptocurrency, so it will also pick up just like all the all the other cryptocurrencies. You know, I also mentioned that when I started, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I invested in Ethereum. At that time, it was low. It was probably $200 um, wow. at that time. Yeah. And then last year, remember, and, and you know, when it was 200, no, even, even, oh no, when it was hundred dollars, I bought, I bought 15 Ethereums. Right. And can you imagine last year, um, last year, uh, around, around October, November, December, Ethereum was high. Yes. It was high. I mean, yes. you wouldn't even afford it. Many people were coming on, were coming now and opening their eyes. And at that time it was too, it was too high to buy. Yes. <laughs> Now they, they were now buying fractions. But with me, I was already nicely positioned. I wasn't buying at that time. What was I doing? I was now profiting. 
I was mm. profiting. Okay. How was I profiting? I was withdrawing the profits from 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 what from, you know. I was withdrawing the profits while it was high. So why yeah. what what am I saying by this? Buy your cryptocurrency while it's still low. Mm -hmm. And then you can profit when when it goes high. Don't buy cryptocurrency when it's when it's when it's, when it's too high because yes. you 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 are you you are calling um you know you know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a loss on your side you know yeah. and um it's not the knowledge that you want to go and implant in other people that you are teaching yes. about cryptocurrency and um and then what about electric cash electric cash also. Um, it, it's also one of the cryptocurrencies that is also mined um, and, and developed by by um, by a company called Mining City. Um, um, before I go there with Bitcoin Vault, I have twenty. I have to mention that I have twenty seven accounts. Twenty seven wow. Bitcoin Vault account. Um, that, that means I am mining from all those accounts. Wow. Today, even though the coin is is low as it is, it's not making me panic. I know that I am still getting my earnings on a daily basis because I have a three year contract mm -hmm. on um, on my on my cryptocurrency. Anything can happen on Bitcoin Vault from now on. If it yes. goes high, I'm going to smile. If it drops, I smile too because I am in the cryptocurrency space. Um, um, you know, I don't have to worry. And okay. then um, the company called Mining City introduced electric cash. Um, those who are in the company, um, they would know. And those who don't know, I think it's a, it's a, it's also a good opportunity for them to learn about electric cash. Mm. Um, it's it's also another currency that one can buy. Mm -hmm. um, you can you can actually buy and hold or even mine. All these cryptocurrencies, you can buy them and hold them, and you can also mine. Some of them you cannot mine, but you can buy and hold. But yes. Bitcoin Vault, Bitcoin, um, electric cash, you can buy, hold, yeah. and mine. Wow, wow. Uh, you, you know what? I can tell that you have gained a lot of experience. You know, I've just been, mm, yes, uh, because you are, you are talking the language, you are talking the message. And um, again, everybody that's listening and watching us, as Ivodia says, when you're in the cryptocurrency space, this is not the space where we panic. Uh, when the value of a coin goes down, we sit back, you know, and if we're able to invest further in that coin, we're able to do so because we know that it's going to go up. And that's why at the beginning, when we started with the show, I said the cryptocurrency space is a very volatile space. So um, this is a space you don't come in and then tomorrow when, you know, the value of the coin and remember that the value of the coin is going, you know, it's a, a valuation up and down. It's impacted by us, the people who hold the coin, the people who have bought the coins, the people who use the coins. So it is very important that however you get involved, you know, in the space of cryptocurrency, you understand that this is not a space where, you know, you want to be to be panicking start small test the market as Ivodia did see what is happening and then you can grow you know at a later stage now Ivodia you you some of them you've bought and hold uh, some of them uh, you have mined but I also know that you are starting uh, uh, you've started to get involved also in the trading side uh, because as you said earlier the more you got to understand uh, through the learning and information that you got out of the mining process, it also then gave you more comfort to then say, let me go and test in the trading space. Tell us a little bit more about that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, you know, uh, cryptocurrency, as, as Tibello has said, it's very broad. It's very broad. And we must also remember that we are living in the Internet of Things. We have to get into the Internet of Things without being scared. And with the jobs being very, very scarce and very difficult, um, I mean, I'm an, I'm an HR professional. I own a company that... Um, that, that that runs recruitment mainly my main function is recruitment so when i'm talking about jobs being scarce i'm talking from experience i'm a recruiter in the human resources space and i'm talking from experience when i say jobs are very difficult out there the companies are there but it's very very difficult now to hire 
um, to hire to hire um, individuals or to hire personnel, especially when you are still young and you don't have experience. I think Tibelo will also know this that many young people who have um, who are young graduates, you know, they want to be now in a, in in in, um, in corporate space out there and start earning an income, but not at the moment. It's very very difficult. When I say not at the moment, I'm not talking about the the, the time of the of the looting the the you know the the current period but of late since the since cryptocurrency has taken place since the fourth industrial um, revolution has 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 taken place it's not very easy to find a job of choice that is why you you will find um many young people with degrees you know work, working in restaurants mainly because the companies are, are looking for people who already have experience okay. so when a, when a young person comes to me and say if we are looking for a job i would tell them yes there are jobs but not for a young person who is fresh from university, the, the companies don't have the funds now to go and put people into training. They need people who already have experience. So what does this tell you? Open, you know, uh, 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 broaden up your horizon, get into the internet of, of, of things. This, we are living in the fourth industrial revolution. There's mm -hmm. many things that we can learn from, from, from the internet. Um, again, I want to say, while you go into the internet there and looking for online businesses, make sure that you are, you, you, you make, you make, um, you make careful homework. You you do a hundred percent homework. No need to rush. Right. Do do um um a uh, hundred percent um homework here. Remember that it's your money that's going to go into investment. And many of these companies, you must remember that these are the companies that we don't own as individuals. These are the companies that we that we go and um and um and see on youtube you know and then we go and um and 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 read about them they could be true they could be they could be fake but you know um, you have to make sure that they are legit so mm -hmm. it's it's always good for the, the, the first the first the first thing to 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 do your thorough homework when it comes to cryptocurrency okay um yes i have i have started trading which um at the time when i started my journey in in cryptocurrency especially on the mining side i did not want to do trading mainly because of the stigma that comes with trading um because of the people that i have met and have said no don't go into trading because you are going to lose your money um the people that would say no you're gonna need a a, a, a registered mentor no it's very expensive to trade and I thought, you know, maybe let me just um, uh, try it out myself. And okay. then um, I went to, I, I said, you know, I, I have done cryptocurrency in the mining space for quite a long time now. And I've also held, uh, bought and held many coins. I have that understanding. Mm -hmm. So in the cryptocurrency space here, you cannot be in, you cannot be, you know, like, um, you, ca you can't be one-sided when it comes to one-sided when it comes to knowledge you have to, to to broaden your horizon anything that you have been scared of to come in on board to do you have to face it and learn and see mm -hmm. what what is it that you've been scared of doing it okay. and find out the find the people that have been doing it for quite a long time how did they how did they win in this especially i'm talking about trading how did they win in trading how is it going what is the difference between trading and mining you know um so um, I, I got, I got, I got um, involved now. It's actually recent that I started trading. Mm -hmm. Even though I, you know, I'm a novice in trading, um, I thought, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm new in it. I'm not going to be scared, but also I'm not going to. This is something that has been missing. I would say a puzzle that's that's been ah, missing okay. in my in my crypto in my crypto journey. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, you know, Tibet Law would, would tell you human resources is very, it's very broad. You you would want to do performance management, you would want to do training, you would want to do um, recruitment, you would want to do payroll, there's many things. Mm -hmm. So as an industrial psychologist as well, my mind tells me that I cannot be scared to do anything. My mind tells me that anything that I am, that, 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 
has been holding me back. I have to, you know, or, uh, you know, um, open up and, and learn. We have to keep learning. We keep learning. We keep learning. Absolutely. And the nicest thing about trading since I've been involved in it is that I have, uh, um, I've learned that it's a, it's a, it's a learn and end process. You learn, you end, you learn, you, you, you end. And this is, this is an everyday thing. A tra- trading is an everyday thing. It's like you going into the shops. You want bread every day. You want mm-hmm. milk every day. Mm-hmm. You want a tea bag. You want a coffee every day. You need to have money to go into the shop. So you go to shop, you have to buy. You do that every day. You do that every day. You know, you go out sometimes even, even without planning. You go out, you say, you know, I'm just going out for a drive. And then you're going to you're going to see yourself, you know, getting into checkers or pick and pay. What are you doing? You are trading. You are trading. You are actually buying. You didn't even plan it. So mm-hmm. this is where I'm, I am actually now. I wanted to learn about trading, but I didn't know which which platform to come into. And um, I am blessed to have found a platform um, called. Well, it's a company called I am Mastery Academy. So the company is actually, um, you know, the, the foundation of the, of the company is basically trading. It's right. the foundation of the company. Okay. And I thought this is ex- actually what I wanted in my journey. <clears throat> and remember that I'm still mining cryptocurrency. I'm still holding my coins and I'm still benefiting from, from the mining. I'm still benefiting from the coins that I bought. Um, now the, I, I'm, I have just added the trading part in, 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 my, in, my, in, in my portfolio. What am I trading? I am trading high frequency forex, and this is called um, HFX. I'm trading high frequency forex. I'm also trading digital frequency forex. Okay. Um, what is high frequency forex? High frequency forex. Um, we get educators that that are there on a daily basis. They teach you. So I thought this is actually good for me because as a novice, it would be nice to um, to just don't go blind into trading mm-hmm. and say, hey, guys, I am trading because I'm going to lose. And then I'm going to come back and say I have lost. Um, I'm, I'm really trading is not for me. Maybe let me just stick to stick to mining. But in so doing, that means I, 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 I made mining a comfort zone. I'm okay. not the kind of person who wants to keep something as a comfort zone. You know, that's why I didn't want to keep mining all the time i didn't want to keep just buying and holding all the time Mm -hmm. that is that is ongoing what was missing was trading and trading high frequency forex was something new was something very good was something very opportune for me it was something that i really needed and i would advise everybody to go into without fearing Okay. Even if you are new. So what happens is that you will get an educator. And um, I think I have explained this to um, to, to Tibelo the, the other day that the nicest thing about this is that these educators are there from 2 a.m. in the morning until 12 midnight. But the good thing is that you as a novice or as a trader, you don't have to be there because you're not an educator. You're a trader. You know, they are like shops. You go to them, you buy, and then and then you 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 get you get you get your 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 payment. Mm. So you you get your teachings from there. So how does this work? These educators are there to send you signals. They send you a signal um, that would you know they, they call it an idea, a trading idea. Yeah, people who are who are doing trading, they would they would know. Um, they will send you a trading idea, right? And then you take that trading idea. You just copy it and then you 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 paste it onto your you you copy it and you 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 paste it onto your um onto your your your, your broker account and then you start trading and then we, once you are there in trading as well they teach you how to buy they teach you how to sell they teach you how to buy they teach you how to how to sell they teach you how and when to wait before you clear when I say clear I'm saying when to make money. So to me, this was very simple. I thought, oh, wow, okay, trading has never been so simple. If somebody would just tell me, copy, paste, profit. Wow, okay, this is simple. I'm going to do it then. And so, yeah, it is true that, yes, it's copy, paste, and profit. That's how easy it is. So it's different from Forex. If I were to explain how Forex works, I wouldn't know. But I know how high-frequency Forex works because it was made simple for me as a novice. You know, so you get sent a um, uh, uh, an idea, a trading idea. You copy it, you paste it in your broker account, which you already have. 
pro broker account is, is like your little bank where you store your money. So now guess what? You have the money in there. Now you can start trading on the on the cryptocurrency. Here is what I need to mention that what are you trading? You are trading fiat currency. What is fiat currency? It's rent, it's euro, it's USD, it's JPY, mm -hmm. Japanese yen, yeah. Um, so you you trade those those um, those those fiat currencies. You can also trade cryptocurrency. And I thought, wow, this is now talking my language. When you were saying you can trade cryptocurrency, remember I'm used to mining cryptocurrency. Now I have an opportunity to come and trade cryptocurrency. This is awesome. How am I going to trade this cryptocurrency? And I've learned that even now you have an opportunity to know. Um, when cryptocurrency is going to go up, you know when it's going to go down. Before that person who's waiting to mine knows when it's going to, to, um, to, to, to go up or down. So while you as a miner is, is looking at your earnings like, hmm, it dropped today. But Evodia had already known a long time ago wow. from her trading that, okay. that a certain cryptocurrency is going to drop. So when you're saying my earnings have dropped, like let's say your Bitcoin earnings have dropped, your Ripple, um, you know, um, your Ripple coin had dropped. I had already knew about it, and in fact, I already profited from it while while it was before you even before it even came to you. I already profited from it by by trading on it, you know, because when it goes out, when it goes down, that's when that educator from 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 HFX told me, if oh dear, just buy it, and then I, and then I buy it. By the time it comes to you, it drops. Okay, so wow. you see, yeah. By the time it comes to you, the miner, it already yes. dropped. Okay, yes. so okay. yeah. So okay. so here you you you. I have learned to um, to trade cryptocurrency. I've learned to trade USD, Euro, um, and and all the and all the the fiat currencies as well. Um, wow. I have to mention that from my first trade. You know, I opened my broker account and I thought, oh, okay, he, this is it. I'm going to do it. They said I must just listen to this educator. And you know, I made um, I made two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, wow. only in one minute. In Amazing. one minute, I made two hundred dollars just by copying, pasting, and profiting. And yeah. this is the money that I can also withdraw. Okay. So now wow. my broker fund or my trading account always has the funds. It always has the funds. To, for me to either withdraw or to keep trading, to keep trading. So now I'm, I have an opportunity to trade on a daily basis at the time of my choice, at home, in, in the comfort of my home. You know, um, I don't have to go out. I don't have to <clears throat> be there every day. We get a we get a weekly timetable every Monday. You know, like like school, you get a weekly timetable, and then you will choose. You will select your own time. This is the time that I can only start trading. Maybe in the morning you can just choose ten o'clock in the morning. That's the time I'm having my breakfast. You can also trade while you're having your breakfast. All you do is just a click of a button and copy. You paste your profits. That's how simple it is. And then um, and then sometimes you get told. Um, wait for the cryptocurrency to drop and then you just drop. So you just have to be patient as well. Hey, and then you can also do it at three o'clock in the evening or at night. You know, yeah. it depends on, on your time. So you have freedom here to trade at the time of your choice. Also, with the educator of your choice, I also mentioned that this, this is like university. I have been in tertiary myself and at tertiary, you would know your favorites. You would know your favorite lecturers. <laughs> <laughs> you will know your favorite lecturer. It doesn't matter how tired you are, but you would you would not want to miss that lesson. And you would know that the, the, the lecturer that would make you a bit sleepy, you would know a lecturer that you actually battle to, mm. to, to have an, an understanding with and you would still want a one-on-one -on -one with them after class. Even here with trading as well, because there's many of them. This is an academy, it's like university. You, you will choose, you will select which one you feel comfortable to trade with. And you will notice that by so doing, you start having your trading plan. Even, even your losses, you don't take them as losses, you take them as lessons. So oh, there you have it. I've, I've got my trading portfolio now yeah. in my table and I would really love for everybody to um, to take advantage of. Yeah. Wow, it was, yeah. I, it, I, I don't, I, I, I'm lost for words, <laughs> you can tell that I'm lost for words because there is just so much that, you know, you are sharing with us and I am so grateful that, you know, you are able to come here and share this with us. Can you believe 
we are left with just about five minutes before we end this show. Wow. I feel like we could go on, you know, there's so much more that we could learn from you. I love what you have shared with us, Ivodia, in terms of how you started in the crypto space, how you took your time, you know, to learn about, you know, uh, all the information that you could be able to learn. But also you did not restrict yourself to say, okay, now I know how to buy and hold, I know how to mine. You then looked for other opportunities and when they came through, you also went for them and how you are continuing to learn. I loved what you said, you know, uh, to us in terms of whatever it is that we have learned, we should not allow ourselves to stay there in our comfort zones. We should always be looking for opportunities, you know, to learn more because there is information out there that we can learn and find the right partner. And it sounds like you have found, um, you know, the right partners in the mining side, in the buying and holding side, and now in the in the trading side. So as we go towards the end of our show, um, just one quick message you could give to any woman that is out there. As you know, our show is focusing mainly on women so that they become more comfortable in the crypto space. What is that one quick message you would give to the woman and then we'll go into how people can get hold of you. What's that one key message you would give to any woman that says, I want to get involved in this? The message that I have to every woman is very simple and it's biblical. Be that Proverbs 31 woman, the woman who is fearless, a brave woman, a woman who supports the family, a woman who supports, who supports herself, a woman who, um, who looks after the needs of others before hers, and a woman who is, who is very smart. Um, a, a woman who is also very fearless, you know? Um, God has given us bold, boldness as women. Um, I don't see why we should be, we should be very, very, um, very, very scared, you know? Um, God said, as women, we are helpers, but we are not only helpers. If we break that 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 helpmate, um, it, it means that you are a helper not only in the house or in your husband or in or or for your family or for your partner. You are a helper in your community. You are a helper in your society. You are a helper in your in your country. You are a helper in the world as well. That is why today we see women in the world. Look at crypto diggers. I'm in South Africa here and I'm speaking to Develo. Very soon Develo will be speaking to somebody in Nigeria and this person will be a woman. Very soon Develo will be speaking to somebody in Angola um, and, and this person will, will be a woman. And I was talking to my mentor in the UK before, before I started this call. I had to actually cut her and say, hey, I'm going, I'm going to, to, to Crypto Diggers meeting with, with Dibello. And she says, hey, next time it must be me. It has to be me. And this is the lady from, 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 from the United Kingdom who is also in crypto space, a digital entrepreneur who has made a lot of money out of out of uh, out of cryptocurrency and out of out of digital wow. space you know and she's a woman so do you see you are not only a helper in a, at home you are not you are a helper in the community and in the world at large so the universe is yours it's up to you how you are going to carry this universe you know it's up to you how you choose to carry it but you cannot you cannot carry this 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 universe if you are weak you are you have been given boldness from above this is this is the boldness that god entrusted in you so you as a woman you shouldn't fear at all Amen. you have to go all out all out to do what you have been called for there's actually no question about it you're a helper and that's 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 how that's just how it is and that's how that's 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 an expectation of god from you that you should be a helper. Again, I have to mention not only in the house, but um, but in the world. So yeah. you have to come out there. Um, I always challenge women who are saying, oh, I am very scared. Um, I have been scammed. Um, I have done this before. I've been in this and I was scammed and I'm scared I don't want to do it again. Or, um, or my husband is not allowing me to do this or my partner is not allowing me to do this. You know, um, think about what you have been called for as a woman. 
you have been called to hold this to hold the world and this and this and this world really can be your oyster especially when it comes to cryptocurrency when it comes to digital to digital currency it can't just be men out there who are talking about about digital currency and you can't say it's difficult because i see different numbers i mean this is what i actually when i when i started in crypto mm -hmm. space the first thing i saw was dollars and euros and i thought to myself ah the only thing i know is rent <laughs> what is happening here how am i going to do this and then Side as well i'm really not an a i'm not a maths person so this is really going to be challenging for me but look where i am at the moment mm, hey yeah look where yeah. i am now i know that cryptocurrency is um it's you know everybody must be must must be in into the internet of things work from home and as a woman while you are home there you you have an ability to go all out and and and, mm. and be in, in this space it is that simple it is that fruitful it's very rewarding and you know fear not Great. be a help out there and Absolutely. really I, I cannot stress enough that as a woman you really shouldn't shouldn't fear and you actually don't even have to convince anyone that's the yeah. beauty of it you yeah. really don't have to convince anyone yeah. believe in yourself as a woman believe that you can do this and believe that you can change the world and how does the world change it, it, you know, we are the ones that, that can change this world. That's look how, um, you know, if you go back into the Bible, look at the, the women that have changed the world that around mm -hmm. them um, when men were, 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 were still there, but they changed it. So you can also do this. Yeah. Oh, your message, your, uh, your passage from the Bible and the message has been well received. And I'm sure it's been heard by everyone that's here on the call and I'm looking forward to also interviewing or having a conversation with your mentor one, on one of these shows. Ivodia, can you believe it? We are at the end of the show. Uh, as I said, wow. there's just so much that I have learned and I'm hoping those that, that are listening today and those that will listen later will also learn so much from what you have shared with us. So if people would like to get hold of you, what would be the best way for them to find you? I am contactable on social media, Facebook. My name is Evie Evodia on Facebook. I'm also contactable on Instagram. Um, my name is Evie Evodia on, on Instagram as well. My contact number, it's, um, it's available. It's, I use it for WhatsApp and I use it for calls as well. It's 073-157-0006. 073-157-0006. Triple zero six. Amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, as you've heard, if you would like to find Ivodia and uh, engage with her business wise, engage with the business wise, you can find her on Instagram and on Facebook. Just look for Evie Ivodia. Uh, you see her name uh, here with, um, on, the, on, the, on the show for today. So we have come to, can you believe we have come to the end of the show? There is just so much that we have learned from this powerful woman, from this powerful helper, from this sister of mine. And I'm so glad that we managed to spend the time uh, with you today. So let us know your thoughts about your show and we welcome your input on what other areas we can cover in the show. You can follow us and contact us on Facebook at Crypto Diggers Africa, and we are also on Instagram at Crypto Diggers Africa. Uh, we are there on those pages. This recording will also be available on our Team Wealth Creators YouTube channel uh, for those of you that would like to watch it later. And we are so grateful for the time that you spent with us today, wherever you have joined us, uh, from wherever you have joined us uh, today in the world. Ivodia, thank you so much. I feel so highly blessed that you were with us today and you were able to share those powerful, powerful messages with us. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again next week, Thursday, same time, same day. Remember, women dig crypto. You dig? Thank you. Thank, thank you, you everybody. Thanks.